know what? The movie's gotta have a beautiful happy ending. It's gotta be unpredictable, like a fun indie vibe, black and white, lens flare. It's gotta have a lens flare, or it's not a movie. The tentative title I'm thinking of right now, you tell me what you think, is Cold Dreams. Eddie, what did I just say? What's the title of the movie? Eddie! Are you listening to me? I got gas. You got your antiacids? No. All right, beautiful. Okay, maybe you'll come back soon. And she's gone. What is that? This? Female sanitary appliance. Elite bodyguards all carrying you. I don't know why? The second you start bleeding, I pop this shit in, blood stops. It stops the bleeding. It can save your goddamn life. And get rid of the comic book also. She's gonna be here in like five minutes. Hey. Hello. I'm slightly early. Is it Catherine? Yeah. Take a seat. You want something to eat? Some lunch. We make an incredible hot dog. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, let me get a hot dog, soda, and fries, por favor. Diet orange soda. Diet orange soda. You got it. What are these? I think those are the steaks, <laughs> Louis. No shit, genius. Why'd you pull them out of the freezer? That's for the dinner crowd. No, you're not supposed to use these, asswipe. You're supposed to use the one in storage next door. Man, you put these steaks back in the freezer, get me 20 sirloins from storage next door. What's the matter with you, huh? You're shit for brains, I told you. I told you what steaks to sell here. One more time, both of you. I'm gonna violate you to parole officer. You hear me? You'll be upstate in a hobby. You got it? And the credit card machine is still on the fritz, Louis. Yeah, well, you keep taking cash till it's fixed. Yeah. How's your nose? I'm so sorry, there's so much in your mouth. As you know, you were recommended to me by Thomas Dresham, client of mine. Who, who? British Tommy. Oh, Tommy. He recommended you highly. Client how? I was his lawyer in London. You're a lawyer? An item will be delivered at a location. Next week, I want you to inset the delivery and bring it to me. Yeah, we can do that, baby. The man making the exchange has guards. He will meet and exchange the package with others. The fee is 20,000 each. Well, they're going to raise 30 each. I'm not going to go higher than 20. That's inclusive of two passports. Think, wait a minute, the gig's not here? No, it's in London next week. Next? You came all the way from London, England, for us? This isn't really my field. Mr. Tresham is my sole contact in this area. Well, that's tough luck. Our parole's conditional on us maintaining employment here, plus your offer's way too low, especially if you're gonna jump the pond. How much do I owe you? You know what, there's gotta be a way we can work this out. Don't you think? We haven't even thought it through for a second. Maybe we could talk about it? This diner chain. Yeah, a real shitty, shitty chain. If I can sort out your parole issues and this establishment, would you agree to the venture at my price? Knock yourself out. All right, break's over, ladies. Uh, Louis. Yes, darling. Hmm. You buy cheap stock, steaks, on, on this occasion, with your own money, and you store them next door. If 20 steaks are ordered, you serve the cheap steaks you bought, not the ones on the premises that are bought by the company. You don't fix the credit card machines so everyone pays in cash. You keep the cash for yourself. If head office gets suspicious and checks the stock, they'll find it's all still here on the premises, in the freezer, unused. Yeah, it's all very illegal. Eddie's going away for a week. He's going to be bringing his friend Paul? Yes, with Paul. You're going to call their parole officer, say you're sending them away on a catering course as they're doing so well, and that they'll be unable to attend. Otherwise, I am going to call the head office, tell them about your illegal activities, which I assure you will result in your prosecution. Do we have an agreement? Disgrace to the restaurant business, you fucking skunk! Catherine? We're in. No, we're not in. We're not in. We're not in yet. 30 each or no deal. 20 and no higher. 30. You need me. Us. Us. Yeah. Agreed. Fuck yeah. On one condition. No one gets harmed. If it's them or us, I know who I'm choosing there, princess. Don't call me that. <laughs> Don't 
Yoga. You look healthy. I've been meaning to say for the past few days. I do Tai Chi myself. It's a soft martial art. Keeps me supple. It does look good though, right? You do look good. You do look good. Cardio is what I do. A panic attack doesn't count as cardio. Whatever. Hey, you know what, Corny? What do you say after this we talk about your acting career? I'd be delighted to. You ever tread the boards? <laughs> no, my good man. I'm actually a film producer. No. Can I just say what a pleasure it is to be working with you again? I hope I didn't inconvenience you in requesting you come to London, but I couldn't think of anyone I trust more. Tommy, I don't think we need the silencer. If the shit hits the fan, the louder the better, you know what I mean? Take it off, please. The louder, the better. You're so wise. Dogs aren't better. Yeah. More independent. Hands up, motherfucker. Put your fucking hands up right now! Hands in the air, there's a good trap. Or those lovely long eyelashes will close forever. Come here. Come, come on, come on, come on. Come, 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 come. Drop the bag. Drop the bag. Drop the fucking bag! Do what he says. This guy's a fucking maniac. Kick it over to me. Kick it over to me! Kick it over, man. Nobody needs to get hurt. Okay, kick it over to me right now. Kick it over to me right now. Are you fucking serious? Come on, guys. Stop fucking around. Are you fucking kidding me? What are you, a fucking... What do I do? Pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up, but nobody's gonna fucking move. Do you hear me? Nobody move. Nobody fucking move. I'm gonna pick it up. Pick it up. Nobody fucking... Okay. Keep the gun on. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Stay back! Game over, man. It's over. Stay back! Just chill out, man. Hey, 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 wait. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, from the top. 
The Americans stole the bag. They'll give it to that cow tomorrow. What do you do then? Once we see the exchange, that's when we move. Take the bag and anything else. No prisoners. What don't you do? Look inside the bag. Straight after you get the bag, you go to this address. Call me. Sit tight. No other calls. You don't leave for food, smokes, girls, nothing. You wait. For me. Oi, Billy Ray Cyrus. How many times have I told you to fix that bloody door? Hmm? Fix it! Dexter and I are going upstairs for a business meeting. Do not call me, do not disturb me. And over a bottle of red. Evening, Mrs Bradshaw. Fuck off, George. You stink of ketchup and farts. What business, Mum? Did you book the tickets to Barbados? No. Do it! I'm not going to spend all year in this fucking dump. <laughs> Look at it. I gave birth to a fucking haircut. <laughs> Just like his fucking dad. <laughs> Don't you look silly, boys, eh? Hey? Oh, stupid. <laughs> Change your plan. I'm going with you. You'll stay here. Walk up. You two come with me. We ain't open. Scrambled eggs on toast. Two ninety-five. You troublemaker. Plain omelet. Three ninety-five. Oi, mullet head. What is it? Double denim day, yeah? This jacket was me dad's. Bring your dad down here, yeah? I'll take you and your dad. Yeah. The dad's dead. Good. Yeah! Okay. That's right. You all right? I had a bunch of queers trying it on just me again. Ah! I've lost the button. I've lost the button. Get some aprons on. Wakey, wakey. Eyes and shine, Hong Kong fooey. Come on, there's a good lad. Show me a room where I can lock you in. There's a pantry just, just down, just down there. M mind your air when you go down there. I, I, I meant your head, not your hair. No. My dad. And he's here like this. I, 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 I love your dad. I, I wish he was still alive. Your dad said, Ed, I'm, I, I didn't mean it. I wasn't. I was a. Have a coffee. Person's thrown and killed from a great height is all cool. That was that was unavoidable. You can't. That was. Uh, by the way, he even yeah. tripped. Wasn't That's an act of God. You can't do You're anything. A warrior. You know yeah. about that. I assumed you were professional. Oh, I'm so sorry. We are professional. What did you just say? We had an agreement. No one seriously injured. Cut the shit. Hand over our cash, you little brat. Come on. Give me my money. Christ, what is this? A Mary Poppins bag? What the fuck is this? It's short. It's fucking way short. Well, the agreement was 30 each, and no one seriously hurt, but you didn't adhere to that. So, as a penalty, it drops to my original offer. 
of 20 each. Are you? I'll tell you what. You take the hamburger, and I'll take the filet mignon. <laughs> Give it to me. No. 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 Give it to me. Come on, come on. <laughs> Watch the rucksack. Don't move. Don't fucking move. Watch your good, hear me? Who's the dead dude in the kitchen? What? Yeah. Who's the dead dude in the kitchen? I know nothing about that. Who the fuck are these two people? I don't know. Come on, come on. It's okay, just tell us. You wanted them to take care of us and then keep the money, is that it? No. Don't move. Stop, who's the bag for? That's not your concern. Yes, it is our Someone concern. tries to kill us, it's our concern, princess. Stop calling me that. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, can I talk to you in private, in private, just you and me? Just talking in private? Don't look, look away for one second. It's We're okay, gonna talk for a second. Just... Do you have any idea what's inside this bag? Well, I, 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 kitty cats, I don't know. Like kitty cats. Bear bonds, about 800,000, 800 fucking thousand. She didn't tell us that. What the fuck are we doing with them? We fence the bonds. Get the fuck out of Dodge. What are we still doing here, right? Better be on the run with a ton of money than nothing at all. Can you hear that? Yeah, she's. She fucking you can hear everything. Use your indoor voice. Okay, this is it for me. What do you think, Vincent? Yeah. You think she knew about these guys? <laughs> Where'd she go? Where's the rucksack? Catherine. Carl Carzi. What a surprise. Would you like some, uh... Breakfast, uh, coffee, croissant. Oh, I shouldn't. <clears throat> well, tell us what happened. I waited for the Americans to collect the bonds. Uh, they did. Two men arrived. They attacked us. <sighs> She's lying. The Americans fought them off. I managed to slip away with the bag. Ugly cow is lying. Why would my men do such a thing? Continue. Still have the Americans' money. Uh, I think it's best if we pay them off. They've done nothing wrong. Well, uh, thank you for all your help. Uh, you are now debt free. <laughs> I'll be sorry to lose your services. So I, I can pay the Americans off? No, we'll take care of the Americans ourselves. Why take a chance? <laughs> just just uh, tell us where they are. As your legal advisor, I think it's best if we don't add murder to your current issues. And um, I don't want to be an accessory. <clears throat> well, are you asking me for a favor? A favor that's in your interest. Well, if I do this favor for you, it'll mean you still owe me the same amount. The debt would be back on. That's not fair. I've, I've done everything that... I'm going to choose to believe that you sent your two men to simply collect the bonds as I instructed, but then they 
took it upon themselves to attack the Americans and take everything without your knowledge. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm choosing to believe you had nothing to do with it. Akali, I swear on my... I swear on my mother's life. Deacon, you... Repulsive testicle. Those two men of yours will show up somewhere. Mm. I'm going to meet your friends downstairs. You stay here till I get back. Do not move from this spot. Piggy. Yeah. Come on. Come with me. Two large tuna mayo baguettes. Chicks, you know what I mean? Chicks, shape-shifting. These will be back in the U.S. tomorrow, right? Out of this shit all over the fucking country? Yeah, that's right. Hello. Who's that? Yeah, fine, mm. fucking fine. Mm. Miss Catherine, she's on her way up. Tommy must have told her where we were. You let her up here now? Right now? Yeah. Right? Of course you let her up. You're a genius. That's awesome. Come to take more of our money? Because we don't have any more thanks to you. Came to explain and apologize. Apologize? For stabbing us in the back? I saved your life. How did you... Will you let me explain? Arcadi is the man who organized the job. I owed him a substantial amount of money. Getting you to steal the bonds was how I'd pay him back. Well, we're delighted you're off the hook. Arcadi wanted you both dead. I convinced him not to do it, but at great cost. I am now back indebted to him. One of his people, an animal by the name of Deacon Bradshaw, sent those two men to steal everything. I think you're full of shit. Well, I think you were going to sell the bonds, leaving me at Arcadi's mercy. Oh, you don't know. Arcadi's planning something. Who cares? I care. I do. I care. Arcadi and Deacon met three men involved with him previously. Serious armed robbers. Something big's happening. I thought that um, there might be something we could take advantage of, capitalize on. What was? Ah, that's why she came back. Not to apologize. Come on, let's go. Let's go, honey. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. It's a no. You're here illegally with forged passports. You've violated your parole. You've committed a robbery and a murder. If the police were informed, you spend the rest of your life locked up. You'd probably never see your country again. You threatening me? You're in this just as much as we are, Princess. I'm not involved in the slightest. And whatever you say, they'll believe me over a pair of convicted criminals. Oh, and let's not forget the museum CCTV footage of your recent shambolic endeavor. You know, I think they'll be able to match your faces, despite your mastery of disguise, with, um, 
baseball caps. Uh oh no, I think they worked. Oh shit. I'll be upstairs in the bar for 15 minutes. Excuse me. What's shambolic? What the fuck is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What are it's you talking about? No. You said it's a no like five fucking times. It's a no. It's a no. She can call the cops on us. She can calm down. Lower your fucking voice. She can call the cops on us. We're going to listen to what she has to say. What are you wearing? Are you, what are you, Ron Jeremy? This is what, this is what I wear Please, when I get out of the shower and I don't want to put on pants and I want to feel like a goddamn man. Please take that off. In the name of baby Jesus, take that thing off. I am so sorry. What is this? You put on a shirt? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you trying to look pretty for someone? Is it for me? Do you want to look pretty for me? Maybe. No, I don't think it's me. Hello, Anderson. You're right, lads. How's the knee? Better. Looks fantastic. You? I think I need a dentist. I'm sorry about everything, sir. It's not a problem. Keep quiet, yeah? No word. I've oh, sat tight ever since. You are? Sat. We're going to get you a doctor. Get you a dentist. A dentist. Give you some cash. Send you away somewhere. Get some sun till things die down. How would you fancy Spain? Sounds good, boss. You too hungry? Fish and chips? Yeah. Can I have a private word? Be back in a jiffy. I got this. You're gonna give me the ball. You're the cap. I know exactly what to say. Run like OJ. Yes. Pick up your glasses. We're not gonna do it. Do you want me to call the police? Yeah, go ahead. Good luck with everything, Ammo, because we're not gonna do it. What is it that you want? If we're gonna help, whatever you got already planned, I know you got something already planned. You want 80%. Not 50 50. 80%, not 50 50. You understand? Not 50 50. That's not fair. What do you mean it's not fair? We're not here to bargain with you, Princess. You need me. Uh, hush. Take a moment to process this information. Take a moment. Is it happening? 20% will be sufficient. Yes! 20 Sorry, 20% will right. be good. When this is finished, I'm gone. I'm, this is, I'm done, you understand? I'm out of here. That means I'm getting on a jet plane, going across the pond, back to where I belong, you understand? You got me? Do you copy that? She got it. 80%. Pineapple. Right, chop, chop. Great to be working with you again, Eddie. Right. Sorry, could you concentrate? Yeah. Across this street is Deacon's pub. He lives there with every illegal activity that Arcadi funds through it. I suggest that we monitor it. Follow him and his associates from here. Our entrance is on a completely different street. Deacon won't see us come in or out. Our base will live here. What's that smell? I'm oh, sorry. Uh... Thoughts? Makes sense. I like it. Dartboard, I dig it. What are you fucking crazy? This mural's amazing. This place is a shithole. A lot of space. I'll They're like painting it. over the fucking feces. You don't even smell that? It smells like a gorilla shit in his hand and then ate it and then shit again on the ground. You better get me a hotel because I'm not fucking staying here. Yeah, good. Um, I've rented it. There's food uh, here in the fridge, bedding's in the other room. 
toiletries. What the fuck is this? You expect us to use this cheap, waxy shit? Well, if you want more expensive items, you have to pay for them out of your own pocket. Now, as we're all participating equally, but I'm the sole person who's forwarding funds, I, I will want my share of these purchases and the rent on successful completion. I've got an itemized bill with receipts of my spend so far. You are going to need surveillance items. Please list them, but no purchases will be made until everyone's given the all clear. Agreed? What if I do this like that? Go in there. Come on, come on. Oh, Interrupt me again, and I will snap your fucking arm off, Cornelius. Listen up! This is my high-end moisturized toilet paper. Nobody fucking uses it. Do you understand? Huh? Do you fucking understand? <laughs> Next week. Lunch? Hi. Um. Why don't you get some sleep? Because I got my shift. Yeah. the 60s space race, NASA were faced with the problem of inventing a pen for their astronauts that would write in zero gravity. Spent millions. Eventually came up with a pen that worked. The Russians, faced with the same problem, gave their cosmonauts a pencil. You a communist, Catherine? Hey, dude, come on. These are fun facts here. Well, the story is true or not. The point is, we spend too much time on a complex problem while overlooking the elegant, simple solution that's right before our eyes. Is that how you figured out about Louie and the stakes? Well, that was obvious. Total moron would have spotted that. <laughs> Bought napkins, you know, if you want to get a little. I'm going to. Yeah. No one ever dies there. No one has a. Hey, my turn. Uh, any action? Uh, nothing. We know what we are, but not what we may be. Wow. Hey, how do you know Catherine, anyway? She's my cousin. Really? Mm. Why's she doing all this? I mean, she's not exactly the criminal type. She was looking for a huge law firm. Then she met some chap who convinced her to give him her life savings to start a business. The business was going under, so he asked her to get a loan from Arcadi. She did, and the fucker ran off with the money and her best friend. Next thing I know, she's working solely for Arcadi to pay the debt off. I tried to track him down, but it was impossible. I fucking snapped his neck. Cool, cool on the porch. I see him, I'm on it. I'm gonna follow him on foot. Getting me a beer. You're an American, are you? Yes, ma'am. Say that again. Yes. Well, I work for NASA. 
No. Yes. It's crazy. Stephen Hawking got me the job. And anyway, I had to stop because I went on this insane mission. One time, there's an asteroid coming to Earth, right? But we need to blow it up so it doesn't hit Earth. We had to split it into two, right? But I came out. I'm so tired of saving the world. So I was like, you know what? I'll just produce movies. I'm in the arts, you know. You? What do you do? That's my picture. You made those? Genital fruits. <laughs> Genital fruits is what you call them. My name's Dawn, by the way. Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, Dexter. Excuse me. I'm here at the weekends, usually. Oh, yeah? Mm. No, I told you it was over. Now, off it. Come on. Top of the morning. How did your, your, your mission go? Waste of time. That bar was busy. We couldn't understand their accents, though. They don't speak like you do. Yeah, they're old school working class cockneys. Dying breed. They kept saying the C word. Cunt. Yeah. They kept saying dog and bone. And throw a pint down my Gregory. Gregory Peck. They'd throw, throw a bit on my Gregory Peck. Neck. That's, what is that? It's, it's rhyming. Call me rhyming slang. Slang? It's rhymes. Dog and bones and phone. Cool. Dog and bang. Gregory Pick. Nick. Hey, mate. Hey, hey mate. Oh, hey, mate. Oi. In it. Gregory Pick. Nick. In it. In it. Pretty good, huh? Uh... I'll work on it. Any tips? Imagine you're chewing on a sandwich whilst talking. Right. Best if we send Uncle Martin to listen next time they go to the Hawaiian bar. See something? No, I thought they were dirty. That's it, it's my shift. Okay. I'm good, thank you. On seeing a young lady, the grading comments are made. Mickey, I'd finger her with all five. Deacon, you fucking cunt. The only thing you've fingered is your asshole. Laughter ensues. George, look at the tits on it. I'd bang that whore till it dropped off. Milroy Primus, I never go down on bad pussy. Mickey, uh, I bet she could swallow and fart at the same time. I have swallow and part. No, I, uh, I, I think it's uh, swallow and fart. Doesn't make sense at all. I agree. And what would be the point of Thank swallowing? Thank you, Uncle. Very thorough. Excellent work. Not a problem, Thomas. Uh, may I ask, is Mr. Deacon a herpetologist? What's that? Well, it's from the Greek, herpene, uh, meaning to creep, a branch of zoology dealing with the study of amphibians. I'm asking because the gentleman with the extravagant hairstyle, Deacon, uh, he kept on repeating, blue iguana, blue iguana this, blue iguana that. Uh, the money that fat tub of shit Arcadi and us will be making will be fucking orgasmic. Blue iguana. It's a diamond. Sorry, we, what happened? 
blue iguana, it's a diamond. What is it a magical power? It's like it curses anybody who touches it. You see what you're gonna look like when you're old? No, it's just a diamond. If you look into it, do you see your future? In the 80s, a Turkish prince married an English woman. He purchased the blue iguana as a wedding gift. He loved her, but she partied, gambled. She was too wild for him, it didn't work. But wouldn't divorce her. He went home, sent her to Switzerland, provided her with a few million a year. My heart bleeds. A few months ago, I heard he decided to take her back. He wants to present her at a family gathering, wearing the diamond. So? So she lost it in a card game to a man named Jacob Taylor. Without it, he won't take it back. The diamond is kept in a high security safety deposit center. If Arcadi steals the diamond for the princess, she'll be welcomed back and ensure that he is too. Very lucrative for him. Arcadi's tired of funding Deacon's illegal activities to survive. He wants to make a large amount of money and retire. Do you know this princess? Vaguely. Mm. Arcadi introduced us, did some work for her. And how do you propose we get into this high-tech facility, huh? You gotta be juiced up on the inside. We know fucking nothing. They could have security systems, timers, smart waters, fucking motion sensor detectors. They could have all that shit and we don't know because we can't fucking see. Don't need to know. We steal it from Deacon. When he steals it, give it to the princess. Collect the reward. Simple solution to a complex problem. Okay. If that simple solution works, what do you think she'll pay? Between five to six million. And is that pounds or no, that's pounds? That's pounds. You know, the other day when I was um, when I went into uh, you know when I when I tried to I'm I want to say I was tired. I was my head was well, I'm sorry. And thanks for getting our guy. So, if there's anything, I owe you, okay? Mm -hmm. After they steal it, how are they gonna get this rock to the princess? Diamond. Yeah, the purple serpent or whatever it is. Well, Arcadi can't go to her in Switzerland because of various offenses, so she's either coming here or he's sending a courier. He won't trust the courier. He's gonna want to give it to her personally. We find out when she's coming. We'll know when they're hitting the diamond. I know her travel agent. She's coming here, you may tell me. Do it. Call her. in a month. He said that she's coming in a month. We can't wait a month. What do you suggest? We need to twist a pig's ear and watch it squeal. Yes, clearly. I don't understand that metaphor. We need to put the squeeze on our Cotty so the cops jump all over him and he's forced into stealing the diamond sooner rather than later. It's gotta be something big, big enough to scare the crap out of them. Panic them into action. Arcadi just claimed insurance on this building. He upped his insurance policy just before Deacon set fire to it. He used the insurance money so he could fix it up and sell it, but the police are still investigating the incident. That's good. That's good. You thinking what I'm thinking? Possibly. Yeah. We blow the hell out of the building so the police jump all over Arcadi, which should make him steal the diamond faster. Got full crew in the car. Go get him, Corny. Over and out. Yep. Alright, son of a bitch. Bullseye. Oh! Bullseye. I shift. Yeah. Hey, Tommy. Do you mind if I borrow your gun real quick? What? Why? I'm going to the pub next door and just snoop around. Feel safer having it on me, you know what I mean? You told Eddie about your visits. Well, let's 
care. It's not even a big. <laughs> he won't even care. We're, you know what I mean? So. It's a special edition Glock 26 polymer framed semi automatic pistol. Try not to kill a child. Yeah, no, I wouldn't kill a child. I, I'm just honestly going next. I'm going to probably find something else. It's good to have this just in case I need a rack a kack 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 kack. So mm -hmm. fuck you. Have fun. Let me get a whiskey and whatever the pretty lady would like. Hello, Ted. Oh, you remember my name. Yeah. Oh. How's the girlfriend, then? Oh, no, I don't have a girlfriend. She left Ooh. me when I was on the asteroid. Oh. I know, and I loved her. I mean, I loved her. I gave her everything. I gave her cars. I gave her love. But when you're on that asteroid and you're saving the world, it becomes like you become like a hero. And sometimes they can't handle it. Yeah, you get to handle it. Well, may the bitch die confused and alone. Fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, um, why don't you and I get a little uh, dinner, maybe get a drink and talk about this? I've made other arrangements. Excuse me? Where are you going? I have to go. Uh, you don't have time for... See you later. If you come with me right now, you may find yourself having an experience so fucking intense it'll make you feel lit up from the inside like you've never fucking felt before. So you know, where's your bathroom? Uh, in the pub. Good, I'm, go I'm gonna use it, okay? And then yeah. you're gonna go upstairs? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna fuck you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this and this. <laughs> promises, promises, eh? Daddy long! I'm just running to the toilet. I'll be back. Fuck off! Have a shit! Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. What are you doing here? How weird. Came here for the fish and chips. It's a good restaurant. You okay? And now on Marcus the Radio, it's Roberto De Nova with Notte de Mar. Who's that guy? He's the guy who took all your cash. Tommy told you. Why don't women always go for these douchebags? Why are you talking to this guy? You can call me naive, but I thought he wanted to get back with me. But he wanted money. You want me to kick his ass? I was joking. Uh, forget about him, me kicking his ass. Positive. You gotta stay positive, honey. Glass half, glass half, oh. You know, I saved your life, and, and you said there was a favor you could do for me. Catherine, look, let me explain. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. Take it easy. Catherine? Catherine? Where are you going? Let's not do this. Come on. Have a chip. Sit down. Relax. Out of my way. Well, it's not fair to do this. Come on. Come on. Get 
Get your hands off me, you American prick! Ah, ah, I'm going crazy to see all my... Shall we make you some coffee? Where you been? Nowhere. Stop, what the fuck? Is that my fucking toilet paper? Uh, no. Yes, it is. That's my fucking toilet paper. Where's my gun? I don't have it on me right now. What gun? What happened? Paul went to Deacon's pub and fucked what I can only assume was the ghost of Christmas past. Son of a bitch. Where's my gun? Okay, it might be in the toilet at Deacon's pub. First things first. Where are my wet wipes? <laughs> for Frodo. No shit, Frodo Baggins? This is 1999. I was uh, much thinner then. The director, he loved me, took me for lunch, said I was too tall. Oh. To make me hobbit size, he was gonna wear a million dollars a foot. Yeah, a million dollars a foot for every effect shot. A million dollars. Six foot two. Yeah, you're huge. So uh, they went with the shorter fellow. Elijah Wood. Fuck yeah. that. You know what? I'm gonna put you in my independent movie. Really? Yes. Think about it for a second, okay? It starts with a 45 minute one shot. Yeah. And do you like lens flare? Oh, I love lens flare. There's so much lens flare in this. You're gonna be like, what, what's going on? There's so much fucking lens flare. Close your eyes. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the working title. No more nothing. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. No more nothing. Think about it. I like it. Yeah. I like it, Paul. It, it's dark and sort of. Hangs. Hangs yeah. there, doesn't it? Then it just drops. Into nothing? Or everything. Hey, come on, guys. Let's move. We got other floors to do. Let's go. Pop music. Wanna be a gunslinger? Don't be a rock singer. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What you where you wanna go? Talk about. Pop music. Talk about. Pop music. Ordnance working well? Yeah, perfect, sir. Thank you for your help. You're a good man, Uncle Martin. Where do you want this? Right there, Corny. Yeah, pack it to the brim. When in doubt, overload. I spot a fellow military man from a mile away. Ever so thrilled to be working with you all again. All this sitting around on cold surfaces is terrible for the prostate. Prostate, we all know roughly where it is, but where exactly is the prostate? Well, you know when you shove your finger up your ass? No. Do people do, what do you mean? Get that thing out of my fucking face. You've got to just you wrap those now. things up. Yeah, look at it. It's disgusting. This is going to save your life one day. Imagine Shit. if you have a hole right oh, here. You need to keep it still. Hey, guys. Everybody's going to be fucking like, oh, I wish I... You still I'd got that? How long you had this fucking time? For a while. But if you get hurt, you're going to want me to use it. You need to keep it sterile. <laughs> Someone's been shopping. <clears throat> Do you want us to? Are we blowing? We're blowing someone up, right? Huh? Should we? Yeah. Let's. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, 
Don't touch it till you're ready. Case of gold. They're preparing investigation into the matter, especially because you claimed insurance on the previous fire. Found traces of explosives. I'll do my best, but we are sailing close to the wind on this one, Arcadi. A couple of my sources tell me that the police will arrest you in the next few days. Maybe even today. Seems they have a personal grudge. Any idea who could have done it? You know, in my country. You could talk to anyone. Judges, you know, police, lawyers. Just give them a little something and they make things disappear. Oh, I miss it. My people. They understood these ways. Because they're human! Not like these dishonest bum fuckers! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look, see if you can buy some time with with the police. Say, um, well, say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Look, uh, fi find your own way out. I I've got to go. So. Yeah. Okay, I see him. I got it. <laughs> Ridiculous. What is he doing? Is this like a British thing? Put the squeeze on this guy? He goes to a fucking salsa class? I don't think this is salsa. This is some sort of fusion. Nazi themed with urban street dance. Sorry. Ridiculous. What else we gotta do? We blew up the fucking building. He spends hours there. He's drinking smoothies, eating granola. This is nothing. Corny, did you get anything today? Bugger all, little fella. Tommy? It's nothing, yeah. Great. What do you got with Deacon and the boys? Followed him into town, saw him for hours, lost him for like 30 minutes, saw him again right here at the pub, and that's where they are. I have fucking nothing for today. Great. We have fucking nothing. What are we doing? Eddie, what are we doing? Eddie! Eddie! Stop! What are we fucking doing? I'm sorry, Princess, we gotta go. No, sorry, don't fucking call me Princess. What are you saying? You're just gonna go back to America? We stay here any longer, we're in trouble, in big trouble. It's that easy for you? Well, before you go, let me just tell you that the bag that's in this video is our bag. The same bag you stole which had the bonds in. And the man taking the bag here is head of security at the Blue Iguana Safety Deposit Center where the Blue Iguana is stored. Arcadi's clearly exchanged the bonds you stole for the security codes. They're going to just walk straight in. No safe cracking, no explosives. Just take the blue iguana and walk straight out. Your plan to put the squeeze on Arcadi actually worked. But if you're just so desperate to leave, don't let me stop you.
I need some ice cream. You alright? Just tired. No. Princess's travel agent. He says she's landing in a few hours, staying at a hotel for six hours and then flying straight out. Tell me what happened with Deacon again. Yep. Followed him in the apes all day, lost him in town for a bit, picked them back up, followed him to Deacon's pub, and that's where they are right now. They closed the place down for the night. It's Uncle Martin. Arcadi just got on a train back into town. They stole it today. Yeah. They have the diamond. diamond. They got the diamond. They got the diamond. What's happening? They stole it when you lost them in town for 30 minutes. Arcadi must have left town so he wouldn't be around when it was stolen. In case something happened. He's coming back now knowing it's been successful. They'll deliver it to Arcadi. He'll give it to the princess today. Gang's protecting Deacon until delivery. We need to hit the pub. Right now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't know if we have to go. We don't have to go right now. We can't go in there, guns blazing. That's fucking suicide. What about this? Let's think for a second. We're not even thinking. We're not throwing ideas around. What about if we think of like an intricate plan that involves no violence and no guns at all, and then we sneak in when they're totally unaware and do it without shooting or fucking killing? Because we could do that. We're sneaky. L let's think it through for a second. Why don't you sit this one out, bro? Maybe I watch from the monitor, make sure everything's going wrong. If something goes wrong, I. Yeah. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll. Someone needs to. Someone needs to watch a monitor, you know what I mean? Outside in 10? Hey. Listen, I told the guys if we get the rock and something happens to one of us, just keep going. This yours? Um, Let me see it. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a dumb comic book. Final battle. His castle lies ahead. He holds her captive there. I have no fear. Her love is my shield against evil. For I know she would sacrifice her life for me also. Her love is true. my blue eyes. <laughs> Get the car. I'm going for a piss.
And of this I'm sure, of this I know, my Lord will trouble me. Whatever I do, wherever I go, my Lord will trouble me. In the whisper of the wind, in the rhythm of a song, my Lord will trouble me to keep me on the path where I belong. My Lord will trouble me, will trouble me with a word or a sign. Trouble me will stir my soul for to make me human, to make me whole. to make me human, to make me whole. Fine. Mm. I need to ditch the car. Your timing is perfect. Had some trouble with the police on the way to you. What kind of trouble? I don't know yet. Can't move. Uh, where are you? Between places. I'll call you in an hour. No, no. Where did you go, David fucking Blin? I went to get the car, boss. Car? Where's the car? France? It's around the corner, but then you've got to get it nice and warm. Get it warm? It's fucking summer. Condition that car has to be warm for the air conditioning. It's like fucking Vietnam, fucking Syria, fucking ISIS, all rolled in a fucking one in here! Who's this? ISIS? ISIS. It's a terrorist organization formed out of IK. What? What's the fucking news? It does get very hot in the car, though, boss. Shut your mouth, you fucking twat! Move that useless lump downstairs with the useless prats! <laughs> what are you laughing at, Yankee? I love that accent. It's crazy exotic. You're the one that's tied to a fucking pool table, so I'll keep your fucking mouth fucking shut. You're gonna be here for a while, you think? How much you paying you? That ugly fucking four-eyed cow. Don't worry about her. Yeah. Everything's gonna be just fine. I don't fucking trust her. She could be playing you like a violin, man. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I just hope I'm fucking wrong about her. Wrong about her. Hope she cares more about you than the diamond. Because you're my fucking only way out of here, Yankee. Do you get me? Tim. I've got what you want. You've got what I want. What are you gonna do? All right, I'll give you what you want. But only in a public place. I'm gonna send someone over to stay with you, see if our man's okay. Once you've released him to my friend and he's safe, I'll hand it over. Where? Morris, Leather Lane, 45 minutes. No fucking way. Yeah, they're not gonna do anything to you as long as I have this. Anyway, they do know you're coming. What the fuck are you talking about? What the what the fuck is happening right now? Left the gun in the toilet. Oh my god. The gun left it in the toilet. It's still there. I don't know, maybe. I have no idea. Here's what's going to happen. You go in there, see if he's okay. You ask permission to use the toilet. You get the gun. I'll phone you when I'm with Deacon, say, good luck. Get the gun out, start shooting, just fucking kill them all. Oh, but no! This, this, this isn't The Godfather and I'm not out fucking Pacino, okay? Listen, listen, Catherine, I'm not a killer. I know I big myself up to you, but 
I'm just a fucking smart ass with a big mouth. I'd gathered. Thing is, Paul, that you sat the last one out. If you'd been with us, Tommy might not have been injured. And Eddie definitely wouldn't have been taken. I can't do it. Got no choice, Princess. Smart. Picking this place. Near a police station. Do you have any idea what I'm going to do to that ugly face of yours when this is over? Pop your hands up against the wall. Where? Over there. You all right? Hey, man, never been better. Feel great. Yeah? You sit down, you shut your mouth. Great to see you, pal. Over there! What the heck you doing here? Oh, I was just passing by. Shut up. I want him out of there, and then I'll give it to you. Oh, I see it. Do with a smoke. Disappearing again. I'll just get some cigarettes. You're making a habit out of this. Back. Just get back quicker this time, yeah? Can I go to the bathroom, please? Are you scared, mate? He's got a bad tummy. Oh, that was that tummy, yeah? Yes. Go on and fuck off, it's over there. Hurry up, come on. Put their guy on. Hello? Is he okay? Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. Okay, well, call me when you're both safe. Good luck. Can I get you anything, sir? Fuck off. This one's on you. Ugly son of a bitch. Goodbye, Catherine. Oh, dear. Thank you for the call. You are now debt free. Cause a scene in the local constabulary here. Huh? She's got the diamond. Of course. She's got it. Ah, she's got it. She's got it. You steal it. Then call Catherine to bribe her to take you to the princess to take everything yourself. A cuddy. She stole it. Like you tried to steal the bonds by sending those two men of yours. You know, they turned up with holes in their heads. Hey. What's that smell? You smell that? George! George! George, 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 George in the jungle! <laughs> what the fuck is that smell? Do you smell that? Was that in your pants? You got some poopy in your pants, little boy George, boy George, you got a poopy in his pants. 
That smells like a skunk with fucking herpes crawled up your fucking red baboon ass and fucking died. Jesus Christ, you stink! Fucking take a bath, motherfucker! Shut the fuck up! It's okay. It's just blood. Let's come on. Let's go. It's okay. Come here. Stand timing. Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, fuck! What are you fucking doing? Stop! Ow! Oh, get the fuck away from me! Fucking untie me! Jesus Christ! What the fuck is the matter with you? Where's Catherine? Where's Catherine? Hey. Hi. What's hi. up? Yeah. No, not much. To kill so long. Sorry. Uh, you need to see this. Okay, we don't have much time. That's Guys. Did, did I get everything off? What, did, did George accidentally shoot himself in the head because of the guilt of smelling so bad? I had a Yankee tied to the fucking pool table. Oh, yeah. Did, did, did he want a share of the diamond? And you, you wouldn't give it to them? What are you talking about? All my men are fucking dead. Well, I can say that. I've been shot in the shoulder, I caddy. It's a nice shirt, that man. Look, make sure the doors are locked and come back. You know what? I know it's here somewhere. She's got the diamond. I'm not going to look for it. Because you are going to tell me where it is. Yeah? She's got the diamond. I swear on my life. Ah! 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 Shut the shoulder. Am I stupid? Am I stupid? Where's the diamond? Hey, where's the diamond? Who's the boss now, eh? Eh? Look at you, you're dead! You're fucking dead! Nah, 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 nah. We have a car. Are we all ship shape? Yep. Yeah. Oh, splendid. Ah, shit. Fuck, I forgot. Are you okay? Just don't bleed on my car, will you? <laughs> What's she doing here? What's she done to your hand? 
course in a door. <laughs> Fucking retard. I've got tickets for Barbados. We've got to leave now to catch a flight. You're having a laugh. What, now? Yeah, well, my passport and bags are at my sister's, so... We can swing by. I've got to see a friend at hotel on the way. What, are you coming? All right. Keep your fucking hair on. <laughs> What is it? What is that? They says VIPs all the time. Don't worry about it. Just keep moving. We're going upstairs. Okay, sit down. No, no, sit down. Do you need me? Okay, we're going to sit down in normal, unsuspicious way. Watch this. What's in your pocket? Nothing. Always it's a little firecracker, okay? Jesus. Jesus, there's a fucking cop over there. I know there's a fucking cop over there. It's a it's a very small bar, okay? Very small. It's very small. Fuck's sake, we're going upstairs to see a princess. Shh, shh, shh. You don't know, you don't know. How well do you know this princess? If you get into trouble, I am not helping you out. Come on, let's go. Don't tell me what to do. Visiting someone at the Star Plaza Hotel. Oh, this is the premium Plaza Hotel car park. You want our sister hotel? That's just five minutes away, sir. It's a common mistake. Deacon, you are a fucking spastic! Can you let me in? I'll come straight out. I can't do a U-turn. Yes, but you'll need to take a ticket to come in, and then you'll have to pay when you come out. It doesn't matter if you're here just for a minute. How much? Christ on a bike. It says £10 on the sign! Ugh. <laughs> It's a bit dim, just like his poor deceased father. So sorry about this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi. It's about the, uh, the delivery. OK, follow me. Catherine, what are you doing here? Where's Arcadi? Uh, well, actually, I, I don't work for him anymore. But, uh, we have your diamond. You look different. Oh, no. No, no. no, no. Um, <laughs> nothing like that. Oi, moron, where are we going? Don't tell me you're fucking lost in a fucking car park. We've got to get to the airport. I've got to pack my bags, get sorted. What the fuck's going on? What? I said, what's going on with you, you fucking moron? Oh, my God, you are dim, aren't you? Just like your fucking dad. Right, Nancy turned out to be 13 and a half, I was. 13 and a half when he took my innocence. Should have had you fucking terminated. And look what he produced. Look at it. Look at the little shit. He fucking well produced. Come on, for fuck's sake, ah! get a move on. What? Ah move, drive the fucking car! Move it! What the fuck is the matter with you? What? 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 Be polite for once in your life! Fucking rude cow! Look what you fucking made me do, you fucking stupid cow! <laughs> ah! Fuck! Let me help you with that, sir. Show me. Stefan? Yes, ma'am.
I'll be back in one second, all right? Paul, no, don't go. Paul, you don't. Paul, don't. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Can't let go in there. What's uh, what's shooting? Some zombie shit. Shooting on the roof. Holy fuck. Is that Kyle Nathan? He's tiny. He eats a lot of boxes, huh? Uh, we're gonna need a bigger box. I'm gonna say hello to him real quick. I can't let you go in there. I'm a film producer. I really gotta get inside. No, it's not gonna happen. Are you sure? Are you sure? sure? Yeah, you can't go in there. Kyle. Kyle! Hey, Kyle. Kyle? Kyle! Kyle! Filming a zombie movie on the roof. Couldn't give a fuck. Right. Kyle Nathan's in it. I'm sure you give a fuck now, right? He's no, a friend. Is, is he? Great friend. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to bother. All right. Never heard of him. Really? Young guy. He's a huge, huge. He kicks and punches and all that stuff. Oh, my colossal. He's that guy who jumps in the air and he kicks and punches at the same time. Oh, right. So he hits your balls in your face. Oof. It's pretty incredible. Catherine, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. Got any coke? No. Weed? No. All right, kids, let's look alive. Let's go. <laughs> right. I think I'll tip to the bathroom. Keep your mouth fucking shut. Or I'll fucking drop a lie here right now. Now move, you bunch of sunglass wearing cunts. Move! We want to get out some tea and talk about it. Man, you fucking American cunt. You're first. I'm gonna get a big fucking knife and stab your fat fucking head. Stab it so many fucking times, it's gonna explode. And then I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you between the head. And you, and you, devious, four eyed, ugly cow. I'm gonna set fire to your tits. Petrol. And you, I'm gonna cut your fucking balls off and stamp them to your fucking ears. And you, Gaucho, I'm gonna cut your dick off and turn it to ravioli. I'm gonna get this ugly bastard, this ginger fat ugly bastard, to rape you with a fucking strap on. He's gonna have two cocks? Yeah. So how does it work? Is the strap on above the first cock? Yes. That would just fuck my asshole on above my- Shut up! Shut your fucking mouth! Listen, <clears throat> listen, Billy. Back up, back up. Who the fuck is Billy? You're going for the whole Billy Ray Cyrus thing, right? Shut up. Business in the front, party in the back. I, Shut I, up! How's that song go? We'll give you a little bit of that song. Go to my heart. Go ahead, help me out. Don't break my heart, my head, I'll break it hard. I just don't Shut up! understand. Help me out. Shut the fuck up! Cause if you break my heart, my head can break it hard. He might blow up and kill his man. Shut your fucking mouth! Get out! Go fuck yourself. Oh, my God. 
Very small. It's a very small bomb. It's like a firecracker, okay? Ugh. Lower your voice, because there's people outside. Lower your voice. The money's all ruined. All of it. Not all of it. <clears throat> we got a cashier's check. You always got to play the head. Oh, we didn't want to carry that much cash, so we asked for a cashier's check for five million pounds. Huh? I'm sorry, we have five million pounds? Five million pounds. I'm sorry, we have five million pounds! Oh, my God! 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 Oh, my Just a minute. Oh, Christ. Good. Fantastic. So where were the move? Where were the move? Where zombies? And um, we had to go. We had to head off and go to craft room. But where's Zom Tommy? Where's zombies? Show him. Uh, ah, ah. Ah. The man's saying the truth. He's just going for a piss. We got fucking lost. We got a nip back. Double sharp. It's for the director. Gives us a tug on the short and curly. Is that me? All oh, right. Sorry. Of course. Go right through, sir. Uh, just a minute. Best we escort you to the exit. Follow me, please. Oh, of course, that makes right. sense. That all makes sense. Yeah, thank you. Latin. It means to dare is to do. To dare is precarious. To dare is to do. To dare is precarious. I like that. It's uh, chivalrous. Paul, good to work with you. Pleasure. Cornelius, always a pleasure. Eddie. It's been a sincere pleasure working with you again. And if you're ever in London, call me anytime. You got it, mm, Thank you. All right. Mm. Yep. Mm. You're dependable. Mm. All right. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Jesus. Flattered. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no. Too much. Catherine? Tell me. Corny, you want to hear about my movie? Why not indeed? It's going to cost one billion dollars. Yeah. Look at this for me for a second. Hey, well, chaps. Hi, Corny.
The road that has no turnings. The fuck did he say? Hmm. No, don't know. Show. 